So now in this video we're coming back uh, to a topic that I covered in a couple earlier videos. We have the power supply set to 5 volts. This is just kind of a bonus video here. And um, so we're going to zoom in and uh, hopefully everything makes sense. But I'm not going to go into uh, great detail. So we have uh, 1 and 4000 ones right here. This is just a series uh, path there as is that one over there. The other uh, diodes are uh, 1 and 41 48 and uh, they're also rectifier diodes the uh, 1N 4000 ones these are really commonly available in uh, kits and stuff they're a little bit more for handling uh, power and the uh, smaller ones here the uh, 1N 41 48s they are better at handing handling uh, signals but in a lot of circuits it doesn't matter which one you really use I thought maybe it might matter a little bit though because I had a problem getting the uh, reference voltage that I wanted in uh, earlier videos. But I'm now starting to think it's just that the uh, bipolar junction transistor needed too much current. So you can see at 5 volts we have uh, the two diodes there building up about uh, 1.1 uh, volts. Uh, which, you know, is pretty much expected. We have a 10,000 ohm resistor there limiting uh, current. And um, you can see each one of these is dropping about the same amount of voltage. And I thought maybe, um, you know, do that uh, these are used to handle more power than the 1N4148, that maybe it's not going to hold a voltage as well, a forward uh, voltage and uh but it looks like they're, they're practically the same right there um we can get that so i think the reason why main reason why my voltage was thrown way off in an earlier video when i was trying to use that reference voltage was just that the bipolar junction transistor base um needed too much current that uh that threw it off so uh we're going down to two volts and there you can see um you know we got a little less current or a bit less current actually not even half the current going through this now now that I uh, dropped the voltage so much and uh, there you can see so the forward voltage did go down a bit but it's still holding you know above about 0.5 volts each and that doesn't matter which side we go on you know they they seem to be trailing uh, pretty good um, they'll be like a speck different but sometimes when when I was doing this earlier I was uh, getting the same voltage now we're gonna go to uh, 15 so that's all I'm uh, really doing here. I thought maybe uh, these two would hold this voltage better, but it doesn't look like it uh, matters. So there we go. Now, you know, it's, it's a little bit higher now. We got a little more than 0.6 volts. Again, it's low current though. If we raise the current even more, um, we'd probably get about 0.7 volts each. When I say 0.6 volts, I mean each one of them. You add them up. And of course, you got above 1.2 volts right there. So, don't know how interesting anybody will find this, um, but I suspected that uh, these would build up a forward voltage faster. But um, it looks like they're the same right there. Um, it's whatever uh, you're uh, drawing out of this, and that's the way it is with reference uh, voltages. Is that you want to take away as little current as possible when you have a reference voltage uh, pretty much no matter what it is some of them are a lot stronger than others um, but for the most part reference voltage you just want to transfer that voltage to something else and uh, you want to try to do that without drawing uh, much current and bipolar junction transistors draw a lot of uh, current relative to like op amps and stuff so I probably could uh, use this as a reference voltage for op amps, but with the 10K uh, resistor right here, I don't think we can use it as a reference voltage, that uh, voltage I was measuring for uh, bipolar junction transistors. So in any case, as I said before, it was just a bonus video. I try to always make sure I got the power supply at 15 volts and another, or uh, five volts, I mean. That's kind of what I assume it is whenever I just come to it without looking at the uh, voltage set and I also limited current to enough to prevent damaging almost any component right there 20 milliamps of uh, current 
it will lower the voltage as needed to prevent the current from going higher than that if you have a higher voltage set. So, in any case, uh, not much to this. I uh, hope you still enjoyed though. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.